Welcome to Fulgrim's Weekly Crusade, in which I talk about what's been going on in Eternal Crusade for me, with a bias towards heavy boulders. Fair warning, this episode contains both a bit of a rant and some strong language. Like last week, things have been pretty quiet on the forums and in-game. We're all waiting on the next patch to hit, although there's certainly been a lot of buzz on the Founders Lounge about PvE and Orcs. I don't play on the Founders server by choice, so I can't talk about anything that's going on, even if the NDA wasn't preventing me. From what I've heard, things sound promising for the future of PvE, Orcs and Heavy Bolters. Things got sidetracked on my Heavy Boulder feedback thread, as we discussed how the Heavy Boulder compared to the Autocannon, and how future changes might affect that balance. In my opinion, we'll just have to wait and see. I did some ground speed tests in the garrison, by timing how long it took to cross 100 metres at a run. I found that everyone runs at this same pace, just over 10 metres per second. For comparison, the time to cover 100 metres was approximately 10.4 seconds. Usain Bolt's 100 metre time is 9.8. Any feeling of Eldar being faster and heavy weapons being slowly, slower is perception only. The lumbering gait of the heavies and the quicker steps of Eldar fool your brain into thinking that they're moving at different speeds. On the game front, I'm afraid I fell into bad habits again, trying to achieve tactically sensible manoeuvres by myself when I should have been sticking with my team no matter what they were doing. This led into a series of rather frustrating games which brought home to me what I feel is one of the abiding problems with the heavy bolter. The sheer number of situations in a which a heavy bolter has almost no way of avoiding death compared to the number of situations in which the heavy bolter can hand out unavoidable death. I'm an easy target for melee, plasma cannons and laser cannons, grenades, and anyone who starts shooting at me before I start shooting at them. Unavoidable death at my hands comes from some very specific circumstances, many of which are completely by chance and are rarely fatal for more than one person. No single one of these situations is an issue, and in none of these situations do I think we should necessarily escape unharmed. But in all of them, the end of result of my attempts to cheat death would often be the same as if I just stood there doing nothing. If there are weapons and classes that can get kills that cannot be prevented, then all weapons and classes should have that opportunity, with a similar amount of effort or risk. The difference between classes should be how they achieve those situations, not whether they can or how easy it is to arrange. Most particularly, the capacity to kill should be balanced with the probability of death. I don't find this to be the case currently, and the Heavy Boulder is not the only one to suffer. This to me is the biggest problem the Heavy Boulder has as regards the way I experience playing it. We can see the tools that other classes and weapons have for things that they can do, but we don't feel able to do those ourselves. It makes me feel like a higher level of skill and luck is expected from the Heavy Boulder, and at, at its worst, it makes for a very frustrating night of getting killed repeatedly with very little I can do about that. One other thing I want to talk about is Devastator Melee. Now, I'm definitely okay with being weak in melee, strong ranged classes should be. However, on top of that, Devastator, Devastator Melee is boring. I'm terrible at melee in general and lose just as much on ground assault and tactical as I do on a Devastator, but at least it's interesting. I have interesting choices. There is back and forth, repositioning, all the things that make melee fun. As a Devastator, it seems that all I can do is hope that D-Bash works, and keep that going in the hope that someone shows up and shoots my enemy before their fast attack spam breaks through my D-Bash. This is boring. I sometimes manage to get a fast attack clang off, but that's a surefire way to let another fast attack through and start the chain stun train. I've been struggling to think of a solution that isn't just reduce latency or some flavour of make me better at merely, so if you've got some ideas, please let me know in the comments. With not a lot concrete to talk about, I'm going to go over some of my little niggles. The, the little things that really irk me, but don't fit into a thing. First up, the Heavy Bolter has a baked in disadvantage at close range, the ready animation. We've been told that this is intended to give the advantage to tacticals at close range. The Plasma Cannon has a disadvantage too, but this only applies for targets point blank range. Watch this one guy in particular just one shot me, straight up. This is another example of things being balanced for us heavy bolters, but it seems to me that other weapons or classes are allowed to be unbalanced in the same situation. 
attacking a point by drip feeding into it when we're facing five or more enemies. We can outnumber the defenders in total, but if you keep respawning and running straight back in, that's what we'll be doing all match. A significant number of my team constantly attacking down one approach on one point and expecting things to somehow change. I'm looking at you, Pegasus A front door. Leaving tanks and transports alive for too long, you get no guesses as to where the constant wave of attacks are coming from and for the love of whatever, kill that fucking tank that's shut down an entire flank. Our team not noticing an influx of new players on the other side and getting swarmed unexpectedly, especially on Harkus, when half the team stays camping the walls and when they should be falling back to B already. Two Devastators and a Ground Assault holding a hostile point against multiple respawns for several minutes asking for a tactical to come cap for us and none show up. We die. Losing a set of matches because we have a maximum of two tacticals only to end the night on Harkus defense at B with half the team or more as tacticals. Enemy Plasma Cannon sets up on Overwatch, raining death, preventing our, enti our advance entirely. I die several times over the course of several minutes trying to suppress or kill him. No one else does anything effective about it. I get into the same place myself once we hold the point, along with a friendly plasma cannon, and we get shanked after about 30 seconds by an enemy who noticed heavy weapons on Overwatch. So, how can you help to keep Fulgrim's blood pressure down? Group the fuck up. Try attacking from a different fucking direction. Kill the fucking tanks. Kill the fucking transports. Cap the fucking point. Kill the fucking heavies. No, wait. Uh, never mind. So that's the things that have been pissing me off this week. It's been a bit of a rant session. I'm sorry. Hopefully next week I'll have more to talk about because patch 19 has dropped and all my heavier bolter woes have been fixed. Until then, leave me a like or a comment below and I'll see you next week.